Hey, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, this is my 20 minute meal segment. This isn't made to be, uh, you know, culinary perfection. This is made to get uh, dinner on the stove in 20 minutes and you can get back to doing what you like. These are made for my meals that I made for my kids that they all enjoy. I hope you enjoy them. You might not like the way I go about doing things or my recipes or my ingredients and such, but you're all welcome to modify them any way you like. This is just an easy way to get cooking and for people who don't know how to cook or would like a good recipe on something these are all pretty good and I, I hope you like them so enjoy you know I'll have a few more to uh, get to you after this one today I'm making spaghetti and everybody loves spaghetti okay today we're gonna make spaghetti sauce you can see Jar, jar the uh, the spaghetti sauce. This is a good base. Uh, President's Choice, always a good stuff. Today, sweet basil. You make all kinds. Italian tomatoes, they're good. Tomato paste, it's a must. Garlic, half of an onion uh, of garlic. Any kind of onion you want, yellow, green, red peppers, whatever you like, and uh, a jalapeno. You want to gut all your peppers like this, because you don't want all the seeds and stuff in them, especially the jalapeno, because that's where it gets hot. And, uh, of course, the um, ground beef. And this is where the ground beef is uh, cooking up on our stove here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to chop all this down, prep all this first, stick it in a bowl. Like that. Stick it in our blue bowl. And... Uh, We'll get back to you in a second here, and this this only takes about maybe 10 minutes to prep all this stuff up. Okay, we cut the garlic up nice and fine. You don't want it too big, because you know it's uh, it's going to have to make for taste. That you know that's a half a, a garlic clove that should work for the whole lot. I got them all chopped up, put in a bowl. As you can see, they're fairly fine. Red, green, and yellow has a really nice look to it. There we go. Has a really nice look to it. And now we're going to take it over here and we're going to put all this stuff without the onions and all this right into the, the frying pan because we use extra lean ground beef. And we take this and then uh, incorporate all this in. Have a nice look to it there. There. Almost there. Turn the temperature back up to six, put a lid on top of it, let that sit there for a bit. I'll cut up the onions. Take the uh, tomatoes, tomato paste, and uh, such. And I'm going to take all of them, put them into a pot, take them all out of the can, put them into a pot. I still got the onion left to go. But onion cooks so fast, I don't want that to be uh, in with my, uh, my meat and such yet. Because it's, it's, it'll, it'll overcook and it just overpowers the taste of everything. And this, now if you wanted to, you could add, I, I don't have it today, but you could add celery to your, uh, to your uh, spaghetti sauce, whatever you feel like doing. If you like fresh tomatoes or whatever, you can always add that. So, I'll get everything from here, put into a pot, and we'll get that going again. I can hear our pan's already frying up that stuff. Now, pick a pot that you're not going to regret later, because if you use your biggest pot, what are you going to cook past in, right? So, we just add our sauces. In here, this is a good base. Like I said before, I use President's Choice. It's, a, it's got it's just natural tomatoes, puree, onions, basil, garlic, spices. So it's basically got no preservatives or anything like that added to it. Uh, the, the Hunt's tomatoes, I use the Italian style ones because they already have the, the, the herbs and stuff built into them. This makes it just easier. If you're going to cook like I do, I cook for kids. If you're going to cook like I do, 
you're going to want to make things as fast as possible. So this is just honestly the easiest way to do it. That way you can get on with doing things. And we'll get all that into a pot, get this pan frying, and I'll answer my phone. Alright, here we go again. Now, everything here, look at that, all cooked. And this is what I like to do because you know what? When you when you take this and you taste that, it tastes delicious. Here's my um, just a the sauce there. She's cooking up away, steaming away, and uh, when we go that route, it tastes perfect. Now we just take and we add all the ground beef. Oh boy, was that good! That has a delicious flavor to it. We add our spiced tomato sauce already. phone call I had and everything like that, I mean, this took me 30 minutes to get me to this point here. The 30 minutes, I personally like this sauce to kind of work itself around and get to about an hour or so of cooking, just so that it gets a nice flavor to it. We just stir that all in, and that makes a killer spaghetti sauce. Afterwards, you're just left with the making your noodles. Everybody knows how to cook noodles. It's it's not rocket science. But that's essentially how I cook my sauce. I've got a cupboard full of spices up here. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. I could add bay leaves. I could add uh, fresh basil, uh, you know, a number of things, uh, uh, oregano, you know, flavor it whatever, however you like it. But if you want to make a fast spaghetti sauce, and I mean, you will not disappoint with this. This is the easiest way to go. Not too expensive, I think. Fish could feed maybe 10 or 12 people, and it's... 20 bucks. That's tops. Easy spaghetti sauce, and everybody will love it. Guaranteed. Peace.